Skip. I don't, I don't think it is. It just it looks like a little abrasion more than anything else. It doesn't look to me like it's a severe cut. It, it's, not bleed, it's not bleeding a whole lot. Yeah. Hey, yeah, big, big, deep breast by Josh Roberts. By the way, that was a great round. It was. That was an <laughs> awesome round. That was a, I mean, that was a high level round right there. Absolutely. All the way around. And uh, uh, I give that first round to Justin Wren. He he definitely dictated the the, the round, but. Nice leg kick. I'll tell you one thing that Josh Roberts does better than anybody I've seen tonight. He's got a nice stiff jab. And he I can't he, close he, his eyes in there, though. No, he just closed no, his eyes again no. when they went into that clinch. Yeah. That is the wrong timid, thing to little, do. A little timid eating the punches, you know. He kind of turns his head away a little bit, squints. Use those doubles, Jay. Finish it. Yeah, you can hear his corner yeah. tell him to finish it. Go ahead. Get the uh, takedown. Yeah, exactly. You know, Josh looks like he could pummel that right arm in and get that underhook. Nice uppercut. That was his, that was, that was that was exactly what his coach was telling him to do. But that was right to to the groin area. Man, he got a. That was bad. He, he, John Dixon may have to take a point here. I mean, that was that was flush low. Yep, and he is. He's taking a point away. Here comes the uh, the replay. Beautiful uppercut. He looked good. And right there, yeah. Right to the Square groin. In the look, yeah, and it looked like they both were throwing knees at the same time. And uh, Josh has landed straight to the groin. Yeah, and again, you know, uh, per commission laws, rules, regulations, he gets up to five minutes to recover, and he might need all five after a – I mean, that was a solid knee. It absolutely was. Yeah. And again, this gives us an opportunity to, to thank a lot of the sponsors that we've had out there. Um, Kingpin Tattoo, Treasure Bay Casino Resort, who always takes care of us. Uh you save car rental and uh, Buffalo Wild Wings and El Saltillo, one of the best Mexican restaurants. I love Mexican food. I don't know about you, Dave. Uh, had it for lunch dates. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, yeah. it sounds good right about now. And the Wren family supporting a Stonewall Barbecue and American Photography. And Fight Force International for bringing the fights to us. Absolutely, and let's thank the, you know, to thank the Mississippi Athletic Commission. Um, great state to work in. Great commission to deal with. Thanks. Always awesome. Bonafide tough guy. They're uh, you, they've got a website. Great clothing gear mall. Uh, mixed arts, martial arts life. That's the name of it. Martial arts life. Hey, yeah. Great clothing company, by the way. They actually sponsored uh, Austin, one of one yeah. of our fighters up there. They're sponsoring a lot of fighters right now, really getting their name out yep. there. They've got a great product. You have martialartslife.com. You can check yep. it out. And Bonafide Tough Guy actually sponsors uh, Justin Wren. And uh, so we've got a couple of good uh, apparels that yep. sponsor the show. And you guys go check it out on the web. I think we're about ready to get started here. It looks like Justin's uh, weathered that little storm. That was, that was a tough shot to the groin. I want to say thanks to Throwdown Cages for making the best cages in the business. I mean, I, I they, agree, man. They don't sponsor me, or I don't get any money or anything. But you know, I've looked at a lot of cages, and, and Throwdown makes a great, great cage. Solid. They do, they do. This this cage is is you know we've had it for five years, and and it looks like we bought it yesterday. Yeah, I mean, look at the fencing. Most of the cages you see out there, especially you know, they, 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 the the fence is sunk in. But they, I mean, this is a great design. Um, you know, I'll definitely be buying a Throwdown cage. Throwdown, if you're listening out there. Uh, We'd love to be sponsored by a cage of my, my gym and all. <laughs> Memphis Judo and Jiu-Jitsu, MemphisBJJ.com. I've got to get that in. Uh, hey, man, that's your gym, dude. you got to get plugged yourself a little bit. Hopefully we'll uh, get to see uh, one or two of our guys on the next uh, Blood and Sand. Yeah, no, no doubt. And uh, 
Sorry that we didn't have Austin on the card. I really wanted to have him down here. But we'll definitely put him on our next one. Hopefully him against John Harris. That would be a great fight. Speaking of great fights, we got one right here. Nice uppercuts from uh, Josh Roberts. And definitely he a game opponent, be, you know? Yeah, and he shouldn't, uh, you know. Uh, on paper, this fight should have been over in the first round. You know, Justin Wren winning, but, man, Josh's game, and everybody over there at Spartan is, is uh, really just great. They, they're a great camp there in Birmingham. And, and I, you know, a lot of guys turned down this fight. Nobody wants to fight Justin Wren, man. Oh, oh my. Justin might be hurt a little bit. Yeah, I think that, uh, that knee to the body. He's in a fight here, you know. Man, he is. He is definitely in a fight. And as this fight goes on, you know, I mean, well, if Josh is in good shape, who knows what could happen, you know. He's giving it right to Justin Wren. He really is. And I t as I was saying before uh, uh, that last exchange, yeah, we probably had three fighters set up for Justin. And then, uh, do you, you know, think that Justin people would just be... didn't want to fight him? You got a guy that's a great, a great Greco-Roman wrestler yeah. who's got good hands he's tough, from he's one of smart. the best camps in the world. Yep. And, and nobody and and Chris Conley said Josh will fight anybody. Man, great matchup here. Great main event. I couldn't think of a better main event. This has been awesome. I mean, the co-main, now the main like this, uh, again, man, I can't say it enough. Hats off to you, Russell. Awesome job of matchmaking. Thank you. Nice body shot. I tell you, Chris Connolly in the second round told Josh Roberts, throw the uppercut, throw the uppercut, and I, I <laughs> that uppercut's Smart. working. Smart. Good coach. You think Justin might be a little tired right about now? That's what I was thinking. I, I, I think... You know, one thing is, is honestly, the uh, I wonder how much that knee took out of him. You know, yeah, it, it was a hard. It yeah. was a hard knee to the groin, and that does take stuff out of you, man. And he hey. does look a little gassed. I, I, he looks tired. Hey, I think and, uh, Ju I think Justice, you know, testing your stand up is. I think you've tested it long enough. I think he can take this fight to the ground and win. Yeah, I, I, I think that's what uh, his corner needs to tell him. Say, listen, you, you've probably won the first two rounds. The second round, you know, the point got taken away. It may be an even round. Um, well, I mean, second round's in question, though. Yeah, it is. I, 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 I wouldn't. I agree. The round I, right away. We might have ourselves a 1-1 uh, one, one fight here. Well, no, they took a point away from Josh, so it's going to this round. Oh, uh, uh, for the low blow. Yeah, yeah. John Dixon yeah. definitely went around and took okay. a point. Okay. So. Well, if he wins, if he wins the round, it'd be a nine-nine round. Exactly. That's why I mean. I think it it, it would be a. Uh...